Hi guys! I'm going to help you learn a little bit more about subtraction with regrouping. Don't worry, it's super confusing at first, but I'm going to help you get unstuck. Um, I know you can do it, so get ready and turn your brain on. So the first thing that we need to know about regrouping is what the word regrouping means. So the word regrouping, this prefix re, means to do something again or to do something, in this case, it means to do something differently. And this word grouping is the way that we arrange things or have things set up. So we know, you guys know because you're super smart, that 110, this is 110 right here, is the same as 10 ones right here. So 110 is equal to 10 ones. So we know that this is 10 and this is 10. And when we regroup, we just move these around or we switch them out or we arrange them differently to make sure that we're able to subtract. So that's what regrouping means. So here's my first subtraction problem. I have 62 minus 39. And the first thing that I'm going to do, just so I don't get confused, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my line right down the middle to separate my tens and my ones. Okay? And when I'm subtracting and I need to regroup, I'm going to need two boxes right on top. So I'm going to put those two boxes on top so I'm ready to go. Now, just like when we're adding, when we're subtracting, we always, 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 we always start in the ones place. You got it. In the ones place, do you know if the numbers in the ones place are the red numbers or the blue numbers? You are right if you were thinking the blue numbers. So I'm going to start in the ones place, and I'm just going to look at the blue numbers in the ones place. So I'm going to look at, the, I have 2 minus 9 here. And I have to think to myself, if I have 2, 1, 2, am I able to take away, am I able to subtract 9? And the answer is no, I don't have enough. I only have 2 right here. I don't have enough to take away 9, to subtract 9. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go next door over to the tens place. So I'm going to hop right next door over to this 6 right here and I'm going to regroup. I'm going to take away 110 because there's six tens here. One, two, three, four, five, six to make 62. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to take away one of those tens and I'm going to move it over to the ones place. So I'm going to take this one away and I'm going to move it right over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and like we said before, we knew that one ten is the same as ten ones. It's still ten, same thing. So now over here, the six is not a six anymore. I don't have six tens anymore. Now, instead of having six tens, I have one, two, three, four, five tens. So that six now turns into a five. So I'm going to write the five in my box. And over here, this is not just two anymore. So I'm going to cross that off. I know now because I added 10, and I know right away that 10 plus 2 is 12. So in my box over here, I'm going to write 12. Now I can take 9 away because I have 12 over in the ones place now instead of 9. So I'm going to take 9 away. So I'm going to cross off 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I have 1, 2, 3 left. So 12 minus 9 equals 3. And now I can jump over to the tens place. I have 5 minus 3, and I know that as fast as a snap. 5 minus 3 is 2. So now I have my difference. You know the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So 62 minus 39 equals 23. Okay, here's our next problem. We have 83 
minus 47. So first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to draw my line right down the middle to separate my tens and my ones just so I don't get confused. And I'm also going to go ahead and put my two boxes on top because when we regroup, when we're subtracting, we need two boxes. So now my job is to start in the ones place. You got it. And we know that the ones place are these numbers here in blue. So we have three minus seven. And now I have, before I do anything, I have to think to myself, I have three, one, two, three. Do I have enough to take away seven, to subtract seven? And the answer is no, I only have three, so I can't take seven away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop right next door, right here to this eight. And this eight is the same as eight tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sub I'm just gonna regroup them. I'm gonna change them around, switch those numbers around in order to make sure that I can subtract. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these tens away from the tens place, and I'm just gonna move it. I'm not taking it away, I'm just regrouping. I'm rearranging it, I'm gonna move it over. So I'm gonna hop back over here, back over to the ones place, and I'm gonna drop those 10 off right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now that I've regrouped the 10s, this eight is not eight tens anymore. We don't have eight tens anymore over here. Instead, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven tens now. So in the box up top, I'm gonna write a seven because it's not eight tens anymore now, it's seven tens. Now I'm gonna look over here in the ones place and I moved that 10 over here and I know 10 plus three is 13. So I'm gonna write the 13 up in the box because this isn't just three anymore. Now it's three plus 10, which is 13. So now I can go ahead and subtract. So I have 13 right here and I'm gonna subtract seven. So let's subtract seven. One, I'm gonna take away, whoops, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna take away seven, ready? Subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll get rid of those, we'll subtract them. And now I'm left over with one, two, three, four, five, six. So 13 take away seven equals six. So I'm gonna write a six in the ones place. And to double check that to make sure that I'm correct, I know that seven plus six is 13. So that matches this number, so I'm good to go. Now I'm gonna jump back over to the tens place and I'm gonna subtract seven minus four. So four, five, six, seven. Seven minus four equals three. So now I figured out the difference. My difference is the answer to my subtraction problem. It's 36. So 83 minus 47 equals 36. Okay, so here's another problem. We have 92 minus 48. This one's all set up, we're ready to go, and we know the first thing we need to do, we always start in the ones place. So I'm gonna look at the ones place, which are the blue numbers, and I have two minus eight. So if I have two, one, two, do I have enough to subtract eight to take eight away? No, I do not. So I'm gonna hop next door, I'm gonna head over to the tens place, and I'm gonna take away one of these tens. So I know that one less than nine is eight. So this now turns into an eight, and I'm gonna drop those 10, that 10, right over here in the ones place. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I know that 10 plus two right away is 12. So this is not a two anymore, this is a 12. Now I can subtract 12 right here, 
minus 8. I still go in the ones place, so 12 minus 8. I can count up 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 minus 8 equals 4, so I'm going to write a 4 in the ones place. And then I can hop over to the tens place. 8, right here, 8 minus 4 equals 4. That's a doubles fact. So now I have my difference. 92 minus 48 equals 44. Okay, what I'd like you to try now is I'd like you to try to work through one of these problems on your own just to see how you do. Um, your problem is going to be 64 minus 27. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you get a post-it and a pencil. You're going to copy this problem down, 64 minus 27. Um, and you're going to go ahead and give it a try on your own just to see how you're doing and see how you're feeling about subtraction. And I, I'll give you a hint. On this problem, you do have to regroup. So make sure that you start in the ones place. Um, and you're going to have to regroup and rearrange those numbers around in order to subtract. So we're going to go ahead. Go ahead and pause this. You can work on that problem on your own. And then when you're finished, go ahead and start playing the video again. And I'm going to work through it with you to see how you did and see if you got the correct answer, okay? So go ahead and press pause. And then when you are finished, you think you've got it, go ahead and press play again. All right, let's see how you did. So the first thing that you should have done is you should have started in the ones place. So you had 4 minus 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And you should have asked yourself, if I have 4, do I have enough to subtract 7? And no, we don't have enough. So what we're going to have to do is we go next door to the tens place. We're going to take one of those tens away. So I'm going to cross this off. And I know 1 less than 6 is 5. So that 6 should turn into a 5. And then we're going to drop that 10 off over in the ones place. So we're going to put that 10 over here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this 4 is not a 4 anymore. Instead, 4 plus 10 is 14. So that 4 turned in to a 14. Now this is the hardest step. So if you got that far, great job. And if you didn't, don't worry, we'll get there. So now we can go ahead and we can subtract. We have 14 minus 7 here. So 14 minus 7, I know right away because that's a double stack. 7 plus 7 equals 14. So 14 minus 7 equals 7. So I'm going to write a 7 in the ones place. And then I can hop back over to the tens place. I have 5 minus 2. And I know that easy cheesy. 5 minus 2 is 3. So my difference is 37. 64 minus 27 equals 37. So how would you do? All right, last thing that I'd like you to do is just make sure that on that post-it, make sure that your name is on there somewhere so we know that it's yours. And then I'd also like you to put um, a face on there. So if you feel like you really understand subtraction with regrouping, give me a big old happy face. If you feel like you are super duper confused still, which is okay, go ahead and put one of these faces. Ooh. And if you feel like you're kind of starting to get it, but kind of still a little bit confused, go ahead and put one of these faces for me. Either one, anyone is perfectly fine. We're going to work through this and we'll get it and you guys will be subtraction and regrouping whizzes.